Hello, this is Kurt from Grand Purpose Piano. You can reach us at grandpurpose.com. And no, this is not a ghost. This is a piano undercover. Um, we're doing the soundboard. And there's a lot of cracks in the soundboard. The last video I showed you was where we were fixing the cracks by refixing them and re-gluing them to their ribs. Now what you do is you put the piano, I had it under cover for a day, and uh, there's a heater underneath it. And so we cover it up and get all the moisture out to really reveal the cracks uh, in the soundboard. And once their piano's dried out, I can then go ahead and I can begin shimming. And then the shims will be a lot more stable uh, once we're done. So I'm going through the process right now. You can see that all the shims are being glued in place. Uh, we use special tools to open up all these cracks. And you can see how the cracks are staggered. You know, they're really not, you know, consistent. And they're all over the place. We have little cracks, whoops, little cracks here. And, you know, so what that has to be done is it all gets opened up with these shimming tools that I have here. And it's, it's shaped like a wedge. Open them up and fix and re-glue the shims back in place. Once all this is done, it will be sanded. Uh, put some more heat under it. I'll do this process two times to reveal any other ones uh, that I might have missed and then go ahead and um, Go through the final sanding and then uh, put finish on the soundboard to um, To seal it uh, One thing I forget I forgot to mention was that I will also be doing the opposite side of the piano as well right now you see that, you know, we can see the cracks pretty clearly up here, but on the opposite side, there are cracks as well. Those cracks also have to be sealed and shimmed in the same fashion as here, or else the moisture will get in from the opposite end. Okay, so 